friends, I'm Johnny Rowland. This is Andy McEachran. We are here in beautiful southern Arizona, border right over there. Beautiful day, fabulous scenery. Arizona has some of the greatest history. Our southwest U.S. has some of the greatest history uh, in the country, in the world for that matter. But you know what, friends? One thing that we're a little short on here is what, Andy? Water. Water. But you know what, friends? We have an answer to the water shortage in the Southwest. Got a little map here. Do you realize that the border of Arizona is only 60 miles from the Pacific Ocean? Yes, it's a Sea of Cortez, but it's a big bay on the Pacific Ocean. Unlimited water is only 60 miles or so away from Arizona. George Strait had a song called I Got Some Ocean Front Property in Arizona. He wasn't that wrong. We all laughed about it, but he didn't realize probably how close to right he was. We want to run a pipeline from here in Arizona down to the Sea of Cortez, to the Pacific Ocean essentially, bring that seawater up here to Arizona to a desalination plant. Did I say that right? You did. Thank you. <laughs> desalination plant. We can make any amount of water. We can bring another river into the southwest, in the southern Arizona. Desalination is a real option in this day and age. It's been, the technology's been around. It's very feasible to desalinate water, extract minerals from the water, use it for agriculture, use it for anything you want. But the technology is here today, and we can do it. Here is an unlimited source of water just only 60 miles or so from the Arizona border. Desalination is the answer for bringing unlimited amounts of water here to this region. We can turn this into this. And we have some other people we're gonna let you hear from here who support this concept. All right, thank you, Johnny. I appreciate the offer to you know, say what I think about this water project that you're working on. I believe that uh, this area here, having, having lived here my entire life, my family and I, we know the importance of the water and that with all the people moving into southern Arizona, this project could really make a lot of difference because that one of every project that I've worked on, uh, the water has been the big key issue, whether it's in the mining industry or in the farming industry or even in the housing industry. The, the thing is that everybody's afraid that they're going to run out of water. This is one of the best areas in the country for growing crops such as cotton and uh, vegetables, you know, pistachios, apples, all that kind of stuff. And some of the wine, the biggest uh, wine uh, grapes and stuff, are most all of them are grown right here in Cochise County. And this would be a big help to help uh, offset some of the water shortages that will probably happen over the next 50 to 100 years. Well, a project like you're talking about could actually uh, bring an excess of water into southern Arizona that would, that would help everything from the border areas from Nogales, Douglas, Sierra Vista, clear up into Tucson and Phoenix and beyond. And that would uh, be a great help. I just hope that we can uh, move this thing a little bit, move this forward and I certainly support it. We can turn this into this. I'm not sure that we can adequately explain the value of water today, but I can tell you this, as we look to the future for our children and our grandchildren, we don't have any idea how the scarcity of water and the cost of water is going to affect everybody's life and their livelihood tapping any source of water and certainly from the Sea of Cortez is probably the closest body that we have to this area, the proximity. And it is a doable, viable, workable plan. And I think if the right people will get behind it, it, it is a can-do type of a project that will benefit all of the West. We can turn this into this. Arizona, what a great state. You know, and Arizona is growing and it's continuing to grow, but it is the desert. And you know what? We need water. 
Water's life. Grandpa and grandma, mom and dad, kids, we all need it. So what an opportunity to have water and to change the world that we live in and to make it a more sustainable world. So currently, in the border region here, we have a great economic engine called agriculture. But we have a five to one overdraft on our aquifer. But this source of desalinization brings an almost unlimited water supply to our area so that it can prosper economically. More people can live here and, and find a quality of life that people want to have. And let's be honest, we need water. It is a limited resource until we come and get it from the ocean. It's economically feasible. Look at other countries like Israel. They use all kinds of desalinization and they are a garden state for the Middle East and Europe. We can have that right here in our own southern Arizona area. We need to raise about $3 million to kick this thing off. Now that's a lot of money to me, but for a project like this, it's not that much. We've got to hire engineering firms. We've got to do a, a study of, of feasibility as well as nuts and bolts of where to put the desalinization plants or where to put the pipeline. All these things have to be figured in. We're going to have to make trips to Washington, trips uh, all throughout here in Arizona and the Southwest, also trips to deal with the Mexican authorities. Once we get the project underway, realize that the politicians will have to get behind it because there's too much good to be done. They can't be against this, not possible, but we've got to get it underway. And also, we'll be able to get the rest of the financing. We're going to go after a combination of public and private financing. We can have running water here within three years. This is not a pipe dream. This is real. Just think what this land can be with more water. Think of the resources that can be developed. Think what it'll do for home building, for industry, for increases in agricultural production. Friends, this is going to change the future of the Southwest. Please help us if you will. Every dollar that's contributed will go toward helping kick this thing off. Do whatever you can. Every contribution is going to be cataloged and accounted for. We need your help today. We, this should have been done decades ago, but it wasn't. But we can do it now. Please help us if you will. For a limited time, Contributors of $100 or more will be awarded this stainless steel desert survival knife with the inscription Southwest Water Co-op Pioneer. For contributions of $1,000 or more, we will award the tremendously useful desert survival knife along with your choice of a genuine Native American made set of ceramic horsehair Oso water carrying vessels three to a set, or you may want to choose the desert survival knife and a fully functional and firing black powder replica of the famous Old West 45 caliber revolver. Either of these combinations for a contribution of $1,000 or more. Life's good down on the border. If you want, you can come to Life's good down on the border. If you want.